Castle Gandolfo, the historic summer residence of the popes. Saints John the 23rd and John Paul II both spent time here. This retired farmer met St. John the 23rd during the town's yearly peach festival. His life was changed forever. Il Papa seguitava a guardarmi in una maniera curiosa che io mi sentì pure un po' in imbarazzo, no? The Pope started to look at me in a curious way, and I got embarrassed. And he asked me, so, who are you? And I answered, the president of the Farmers Guild of Castel Gandolfo. So I've also been a farmer. I come from a family of farmers. And then he asked me, and how old are you? I was 40 years old. I understood while he was observing me, because he saw I wasn't wearing a wedding ring. You know, at your age, you should either get married or end religious life. Those words impacted me. In those days, people my age wouldn't get married anymore. And thanks to his push, I met my wife and a few years later, I proposed to her and we got married. I can tell you that I have had an exemplary family. Because of my wife as well as my children. There are ten of us, seven women and three men, all very generous. And I'm very proud. Between St. John Paul II and John XXIII, everyone in town seems to have a story. The first time I met John Paul II was in 1981, and it was very beautiful because it was on the occasion of the Peach Festival, which is done traditionally in this city. I was executive counselor for tourism and we organized the Peach Festival. And we went with many children, so it was a big group of locals, as it is every year when the Pope receives us. It was very impressive because he grabbed my arm strongly and said, have strength, courage, keep going. I can tell you about John XXIII that his evening escapes were famous. My dad would tell me how every now and then he would escape and the police and security were forced to drop what they were doing even many times when they were eating because the chief police would come get them to search for John XXIII who had gone out on his own. He would go out in the evenings without telling anything to anyone. Regarding John Paul II, whose entire papacy, thank Godness, I've lived through, I can say that he was a person... There are no words. He was much more than a saint, because the emotions I felt when I encountered him several times was something unique. John Paul II was a saint, indescribable. I remember one time when we were alone in a room with him. It was me, my wife, the parish priest and my little son. And they left us alone with him. In the next room, there were around 50 bishops, and they were waiting for him to be brought in because he wasn't able to walk anymore. And at a certain point, we didn't know what to do, to go forward or to go backwards. There was absolutely nobody there with us, not even his secretary. It was just us and the Pope. So we, very delicately, walking slowly and backwards, started to leave. And he, with his voice, said, Goodbye. When I tell this, the hair on my arms always goes up because it's beautiful.